delving into Kevin Vuong MP's doubts regarding Justin Trudeau's proficiency. One might query how he asserts fluency in Chinese, yet rejects expert counsel. Um, so what is your position on the carbon tax? So my position on the carbon tax has been something that I've articulated quite a lot in the House of Commons, which is that we should not be hurting Canadians and, and forcing them to pay for something that, in essence, is really subsidizing China uh, and other polluters around the world. Because the reality is emissions, whatever your position is on it, they don't care about national borders. So why are we making Canadians struggle? So many are uh, having a hard time make ends meet, pay more for someone else to be able to pay. Why do you think the Trudeau Liberals have been so adamant on keeping and increasing the carbon tax, uh, given, especially given there has been some criticism that it's just not working? On, to be honest, I don't understand why they're so ideologically fixated on a policy that clearly is hurting Canadians. So many people are struggling to make ends meet. We have two million people lining up at the food bank, and we know that the carbon tax has real impacts on driving up food costs. Food costs are the highest they've been in terms of their increases in 40 years, and yet they continue to do that. And and I look at the fact that they promised to give two and a half billion dollars back to small businesses, and yet still haven't done so. Why why not? What are they doing with that money? That is hard earned taxpayer dollars that our businesses that are struggling, fighting for survival need. It's not their personal slush fund. It's not something they should be using to buy votes or whatever their latest pet project is. It's something that small businesses, the engines of our local economy need and have been promised and they have failed and continue to break that promise. Examining the anxiety surrounding the genuineness and efficacy of leadership, it raises doubts about how the disparity between investigation and action impacts public confidence and the perception of leadership integrity. Competence and accountability stand paramount in governance, with critique aimed at inconsistent or unreliable leadership. Balancing collective responsibility and individual autonomy in tackling environmental issues sparks inquiries into the intersection of identity, subjectivity, and purpose with environmental discourse and the ethicality of policies. Imposing financial burdens without commensurate environmental gains, Kevin Vuong MP lambasted the carbon tax policy as inefficient and detrimental to Canadians, advocating against policies exacerbating economic hardships and impeding individual well-being. Proponents push for domestic-focused solutions and alternatives that can more efficiently address global challenges. Echoing criticism of governmental responsibility and transparency underscores Kevin Vuong MP's alleged failure to uphold promises and mismanagement of taxpayer funds. This stance underscores a commitment to financial accountability and governance integrity, while highlighting the importance of trust and authenticity in a democratic framework.